How's it going, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. So we are going to be talking about pack weight, what you pack, why you pack, how you pack, all that. And it's going to revolve around weight. Specifically, why do you have so much excess useless weight in your pack? And I'm going to explain how to get rid of it. Now, my long-term subscribers probably know where I'm going with this, but for you folks that aren't, I have some solid information that will help you immensely. Weight is the one thing that you can control in a pack. It doesn't matter what kind of pack it is. We're going to discuss it. Now, in this box over here, these are your problems. I have items in here that is your problems. And then in this container over here, I have your solutions. So let's dive in to the problems first, as in what are your main problems? Now, when it comes to weight, normally people say the big three are immediately what you can do to lessen your weight, which is arguably yes, which is your pack weight, your sleeping bag weight, and your shelter system weight or your tent. Those three things, if you can lessen those, you have a, a lot of weight savings. But there is a fourth in my opinion, in here, that will save so much weight. Right there. Pouches. Excess weight of pouches is useless. As you see, I couldn't really find too many because I've ditched all my heavy pouches. And some of them are very nice and they work and they work for certain things, but you want to avoid or get rid of all these pouches in your pack. Now, some of you are probably thinking, well, how am I going to organize my stuff? Because everything's going to be loose in the bag and it's going to be terrible. As soon as I unzip it, everything's going to go everywhere. The type of bag is what you want, not this not Cordura nylon. Yes, it is very nicely made. It is heavy duty. It's abrasive. But realistically, why does that stuff have to be so hardcore resistant if it's in your bag? Because it's not getting abrased. It's not getting damaged. It's not getting abused on the inside of your pack. It is an environment perfectly designed for it to keep the elements out. You do not need this heavy duty stuff. And for example, if we really want to look at the weight, this VanQuest pouch, which is a good pouch, don't get me wrong, and in certain environments, certain situations, really good. It is 5.8 ounces empty. And now, if you would add something else like this empty pouch and go, hey, this is going to be my fire kit. Let's add this. And this is going to be my water kit. You know, and you just keep going down this route of adding and adding of all these nice little organizations. Yes, it is organized. We're at two pounds of useless nonsense that is not doing you anything but organization. So let's get all this out of here and I'm gonna show you a solution. The same thing, just extremely lighter, as in waterproof bags. These nylon or sil nylon bags or whatever, larger enough, right? Huge. This is a snug pack with a vent. These will do the same exact thing, but better. Lighter weight and waterproof. As much as I love this, if you dunk this underwater and hold it for a few seconds, everything inside is going to be reasonably soaked. This you will not. It will not be soaking wet. So let's, let's take a little look-see here. Here's your weight back again, right? Let's see how much this weighs. It's kind of unraveling on me. One ounce. Move that up out of the way so you can actually see. 
I've got some stuff kind of hanging over the edge. About one ounce. And this volume is equal or more to this. So imagine just with those pouches, a few pouches, I had two pounds worth of pouches. And if you went through everything and like swap them out for all these other roll top bags, where say you don't even need them waterproof, maybe you want a breathable mesh bag like this from Outdoor Research. All this stuff, one ounce. So you're trading six ounces for a pouch for one ounce. And if you did six pouches, you know, six pouches for that was two pounds. Six pouch pouches of these or bags is six ounces. You just saved yourself, depending on how much stuff, it could be pounds worth of items in there. And that is extremely beneficial for your back and for your happiness and for whatever else you are doing. Because you could be military environment and need more equipment or you're backpacking and you just want to have a better overall time. Now I'm pulling all the air out of this because I want to see how heavy this is. This is a 20 liter pack. So in essence, or a pouch. So let's see. 3.6 ounces. This, the volume of this is more than probably double the volume of all those pouches. And all those pouches probably came in, stacking all of them, probably two to three pounds. So this is what I'm trying to get across. Weight savings is everywhere in your pack. It's just how serious. And honestly, these cost more than this. And they're water, and this is not waterproof. This is probably a 30 or $40 pouch. This is probably a six to $10 pouch. You can get these in a pack for like $30 and it comes with six of these in all different sizes, colors, orange, red, blue, whatever you want. I chose camouflage personally. I like it. All kinds of stuff in your pack, all kinds of weight savings. I know I'm beating the dead horse. Every year I do a video on this and I want to get it out more is you can have an enjoyable time out there regardless if you're backpacking, hiking, rucking, military use, bug out bag, whatever it is, bring down the weight and you will be happier and you will be more capable. You'll be able to move faster. You'll be able to have more equipment with you. You're more waterproof. Overall, better. I know you're really stuck to your pouches, but ditch these. I'm telling you, you will be surprised. Just right now, go in your pack, lay it all out, grab up all your pouches and weigh them and see and look at it and go, wow, I could ditch three pounds right now. And those three pounds could go into water, food, ammo, or nothing. Just leave them out all together and you save three pounds. That's the point I'm trying to make. So look into it. I got some links in the description box below. I am an Amazon affiliate. So if you do purchase some items, then I get a few cents from it. But I have no brand affiliation. I like all these companies, I, I don't, they don't know I'm doing this. I just do it just to do it. So dive in there, start looking at your gear, start weighing everything. It'll be worth it in the long run. Trust me, I have done it. I have found, found the way and I'm very impressed. So other than that, I hope y'all have a great day.